Hello everyone and welcome for another episode of StarCraft 2 Gameplay. So today we are playing against a Terran opponent uh, on a on a DCLE. Uh, I'm uh, choosing Protoss for this game, and uh, I think uh, and I will be going to make a whole new series just for the live gameplay. And in this series, we will be, we'll be, we will be particularly uh, playing live games and trying to commentate while playing, which turned out to be a little bit hard. And uh, uh, after the game, we are going to look in the replay and find out the weakness points and try to work on the weakness points as we go. So I kind of improve my personal gameplay and uh, share uh, my experience with you as well. So. I'm going with the one gate expand build here because I'm playing against Terran and uh, I'm very safe to do this build. I'm sending my my, my prop scout after my after I start my cyber core and uh, I'll be probing up until like uh, 20 probe here, 20 supply, and then I'm going to send down my probe to build my expansion on the natural expansion here. Now on 300 minerals, you want to send down your probe, so he will arrive on time to build the nexus. Oh, it seems my opponent's having a little bit of connectivity issues. So next thing is the cyber core, and then a gas and a pylon. My opponent is doing a relatively standard build and he is already expanding so this is a very good news for me. I can safely go home. And I think I should have uh, saturated this gas a little bit earlier. And now we are going to start the warp gate research and chrono boost out a stalker and continue our probe production. Now this probe is gonna stand here for now. And this probe is going to build my robotics facility or my twilight council rather. And oh no, the moment that I build my Twilight Council, the Reaver comes in and scouts it. So, it's not a big deal though. So I'm getting out a second Stalker now. And I will be getting a Robotics Facility as well. And as soon as I'm able, I'll be getting my uh, my Dark Shrine. In the main base here. And of course wait for the river to come in and see it uh, as I'm putting it down. And I'll be getting another pylon on the low ground here. Yeah, of course there's the river. I don't think he saw the Dark Shrine, but we will see. Now, now I'm going to be getting uh, additional gateways, and eventually I'm going to get my second, my third, and fourth gas. So this warp prism is going to be heading directly to his main base. And the Dark Shrine is about to finish, and it will be finishing on time with these warp gates to start mining. Now, in the meantime, I'm still propping up, and I will be looking forward to start uh, my third base while harassing him with some DTs. So a total of 4 DTs 
and I will go in and get my third base. I'll try to cancel this upgrade. Now we can start killing some SCVs and some units as well. And this is very good. So I want to start these and start some more DTs here to get some Archons. And I want to get shield batteries on this third base to be able to defend it. And transferring some probes now to the third base. Now I'm getting some Immortals as well as uh, Blink and I'm going to be starting my Forge here to get the upgrades going. I'll be standing my units here and I'll be sending a Zealot to this Zelnaga Tower to give me vision of the bottom side of the map and two pylons here to detect for any drops or whatnot. But my army, my army here is basically to to find his army moving across the map. Now I want to be getting the uh, the Templar archive here to be able to uh, fight his army um, with storms. No, run, probes, run! Oh no. That was a little bit messy. You, have not enough minerals. you boys need to go back for work, sure. So I'm basically mining of my entire base now. I'm getting store and plus one, and eventually I'm going to be getting uh, my speed upgrade for the zealots. I'm getting two high templars now to accumulate some energy. Now the uh, the blink is done. I'm going to be adding some gateways here, to so I will be able to support my army in a fight. And I'll be getting two more DTs and the plus two research here in a moment. I'm getting my storm and the. Uh, charge upgrade and I think I want to build some more pylons here and here I'm not saturating this gas I'll leave one zealot here for spotting before any uh, multi-pronged attacks for my turn opponent because Terran are, are known for his multi-pronged attacks uh, the turn opponent never just attack from a single side, he will always try to attack you from, for, uh, from multiple sides. I'm getting my fourth base now and adding some production. I'm transferring the uh, additional probes here to the third base and I'll be transferring probes to the fourth base eventually in a moment. I want to be getting some high templars for Archon morphing. And my uh, charge is done. Now, I don't think uh, my opponent has any any intention of attacking me whatsoever. And I don't know what he's doing, so I'm a little bit worried. My force base is now under construction, so I'm going to leave a spotting zealot here as well. Just because of the multi-pronged attack I told you about. And I'm mainly now building my army up to the point where I can actually walk over my opponent and him not be able to do anything. 
I'm going to send these zealots around and try to poke in the other side of the map. Now I see Cyclone here. I'm going to get that. I'm going to walk around and see what he's got. Getting some more Archons now. And this is the multi pronged attack I was talking about. I was tr I will uh, I'm trying to attack this space here while threatening the attack on the other side as well. But he seems uh, very touched down here, so I'm going to storm his entire army. And run in with the zealots from the other side. I'm supply blocked. Now he is very heavy on defending his uh, his base now, but I'm doing damage on the other side, so that's pretty good. That's a very good news for me. I'm going to leave uh, a, a High Templar in each base uh, just for the drops because a high, a high Templar himself can actually defend uh, an entire army if this army is being dropped out of the sky. And I'm going to go with another round of Zealots. I'm trying to book away, book in, uh, and see what damage I can get. I'm getting another base now. But he is very hard on defense. <laughs> so I'm going to transition out to uh, air units now. <coughs> I'll get Sargates here. His upgrade is 2 2. I think I caught his army. And this is uh, simply due to the. Uh, Because I was doing a multi-pronged attack so he, he was not paying attention to his army and uh, I simply killed a lot of his army in this fight. So this was pretty good for me. Now I can transition towards the Stargate units. But I need some High Templars so that I can start storming away his army. This is a very good story. Now this attack is dangerous, but I'll try my best to fend it out. And it seems like we've done it for now. Now we can start defending and he GG's out. So we are going to look through the replay and hopefully find, uh, find out what he did wrong in this game and uh, what we could improve even in the game. So here we go. How about on 3 speed? So he was playing a very standard game and uh, me as well. Uh, the one gate expand and he was... Uh, I think he was going for some kind of Widow Mine drop but he was worried that I will go for some all in. Yeah, there is the Widow Mines going, but he is getting this Cyclone for defensive purposes. And as you can see now, I've got my DTs. My DTs actually jumped in and did a little, uh, a little bit damage. 
actually a lot of damage. He uh, he now has only uh, 26 harvesters, and I have like 50 harvesters plus. So I'm very far ahead economically speaking, and uh, as you can see here, I'm mining uh, yeah, approximately double the resources that he's mining. And this uh, mine drop that he did on the third base didn't do much because I saw it immediately and I pulled my units away quickly. I was trying to split uh, one or two bro uh, probes so I don't get uh, destroyed. So my army doesn't, uh, my economy doesn't get destroyed. I was having this spotters so he couldn't go for any weird drops or something. And the damage I did earlier with the Dark Shrine, you can see it's spilling over. I'm already doubling the uh, harvesters of him, and I have my army, my technology ready. The storm is coming, and my upgrades is going, and everything is going well for me. He's just starting his uh, saturating his third base now, uh, and I uh, I already have the third base uh, up and running. So at this point, I think he pretty much uh, is so is too far behind to come back from this uh, to this game, as you can see here. He only has steam. He doesn't have even com combat shields or anything. He doesn't have tech. He doesn't have economy. And uh, I'm getting the fourth base already. So yeah, the things I I think I should have improved. Uh, in this game is getting my stargates a little bit earlier because uh, his game defense was so good uh, like the red liberators and the widow mines and whatnot uh, and if he killed my army and made a successful uh, a successful counter attack uh, he could so easily in the game like the attack that he did uh, when when I killed punch of his army and uh, he countered attacks he counter attacked. Uh, this attack could have actually lose me the game, but now, as you can see, I'm trying to attack in multiple places at once, and this actually causing him to, you know, misplace his army and be worrying about the army here. And these zealots are doing even more damage than earlier when I did uh, the DT damages. So as you can see, his workers are dropping once again. And he's losing valuable units like ghosts and whatnot. And I am having my army ready to poke in where he is not. And as you can see now, I'm simply uh, far ahead, economically speaking, to uh, start dealing the damage. The high temple on each base was very uh, uh, ideal, a, a very good idea, because if he if he was to sneak in a, a medevac or two. I, I could have easily done this, uh, I could have easily defended this and, uh, you know, go from there. Now, another thing uh, uh, is the poking here. The poking I'm doing is so uh, important, because as you can see, he was splitting uh, uh, army to protect this space, while I jumped it on top of his entire army and cleaned most of it. But the, uh, the reinforcements from here actually did a lot more damage than needed than I was anticipating and you know I kinda lost my army here but I did a lot more damage to his uh, workers as you can see he has only 25 harvesters so if I defended the counter attack that he is doing now it's all fine because I have already five bases and uh, he doesn't have many workers and as you can see now I stormed and feedback his army and you know that's it this is the game lost so this transition I think it should have been a little bit earlier uh, because of the heavy liberator style that he was playing and uh, uh, a little bit of an earlier observers to uh, scout for the uh, widow mines or whatnot so uh, I hope these guys was uh, my opponent seems to be really <laughs> really mad about losing this game uh, and um, for the things I think that he should have done, uh, he should have at least uh, one missile turret per base and save scans to, uh, if, because I can split my Dark Templars away from scans and uh, away from the uh, missile turrets and he will not be able to detect them. So he needed to save scans and simply not fight me with the SCVs because the, uh, the deities actually one shot the SCVs and while he was fighting me with SCVs, I was killing all of his SCVs, so he lost a lot of economy in this battle. I think that's it. 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you do, make, uh, make sure to give it a like. And if you want to see the upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe so you'll get a notification as soon as I upload more videos. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day and good luck. Have fun everyone.